into my hand. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, Princess VOT here. Welcome to the train of afterlife, but we are hanging out with some friends in a voice chat. They're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! AJ's just watching them play Yu-Gi-Oh! and we'll just hang out with them. Okay? I set a card. And I'm gonna have to pass. So who's winning so far? I activate... If you go by life points, I am, technically. But by the battlefield standards, it's pretty <laughs> well even. He's gonna figure out... He's gonna hands. monster on the field, but I get an almost full back row, and this deck loves... Destroying the opponent's monster on summoning, which his deck relies on. I mean, all decks rely on summoning, but his does more than most. Alright, so using Starry Night Arrival, I special summon out Radiant Sayer Root. I activate Bottomless Trap Hole. I activate Starry Night Blast to bounce Radiant Sayer Root back to my hand, allowing me to draw a card, negating your card, and destroying it. Okay. Next, I normal summon Starry Night CL. Okay. Keep going. Okay, I'm I'm seeing where I want to go from here. All right. All right. In battle phase, I will let Rael strike into Genlis Sea. Then I will attempt to strike for seventeen. Okay. Now let him turn. Okay. Main phase. I uh, normal summon trap tricks Genlis C. And because she's gonna die anyway if I don't do anything, I'll go ahead and link summon her into trap tricks Sarah. I'll set a card face down. Do I want to push my luck? You know what? I feel like I have to. Using the effect of Starry Night Arrival, I special summon... Radiant Seiru. In response, I activate Void Trap Hole. What's that do? When your opponent special summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack, negate the effects of one of those monsters with 2,000 more attack, and if you do, destroy it. And when that happens, that'll also set up Trap Trick Sarah, which helps me special summon a Trap Trick's monster from my deck with a different name. I don't even know why I have this card in my deck. It seems to be a brick more than anything. And I will special summon Trap Tricks Mermaleo, which will activate him to pop one Speller Trap on your side of the field. And let's get rid of that Starry Night Sky. It is a major pain in my ass. Indeed it is. And then that'll set up Sarah's other effect, where I get to set a 
normal trap from my deck. Well, one whole normal trap, to be exact. Don't forget to send Boy Trapple to the grave. Yep. Oh, let's move to battle phase. We'll let Rael take out Sarah. And Seal will attack Marmalia. Yep. Then I'll pass turn. And now we get now, out. During your main phase, I'll activate Starry Night Arrival to special summon Seiru. Bottomless trap hole. During my main phase, I'll set a card and pass. This is one of the main problems with trap tricks. Uh, it has very little comeback potential unless you get lucky. I normal summon Starry Knight Rael. Is the summon okay? Yeah, and with that, I admit defeat. I had a Seiru and another Radiant Seiru in my hand as well, so that's the only reason why I was willing to press my luck summoning those. Yeah, okay, let's try a rematch. And let's make it the last duel of the night. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, look at this deck lineup. I don't even see why I have that in here. It's increasing my deck by two cards that I really don't need to have in there. Alright. Alright. I'll start by setting a card, and then I'll normal summon Traptrix Mantis. When she's normal summoned, I can add a Traptrix monster from my deck to my hand. Go grab your one that can be special summoned, which will allow you to go into other things. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had that. Thanks, Kaji. You would have seen it when looking through the deck. Fair enough. Alright. By sending this card to the grave, I special summon Trap Tricks Vesiculo from my hand. Now, I'll set another card. And I will build the overlay now with these two into Trap Tricks Reflesia. Not what I was expecting, but okay. Enter. Stand by main. I activate Starry Night Ceremony. And I will reveal this Starry Night Rael. Okay. Which allow me to add Radiant Seiru to my hand. And I will send Rael to the bottom of my deck.
Next, I activate Starry Night Bellfire. Balefire. In order to grab Starry Night Astel. Next, I normal summon Starry Night Rail. Okay. Is that good? He's good. Okay. With him, I will grab my Starry Night Sky. Which I'll go ahead and activate. Allowing me to normal summon Starry Night Astel. Yep. Now, I will have Starry Night Astel target Rael, sending it to the grave. To special summon my starry dragon. I will detach to activate Replesia's effect. Where I can send a trap hole from hole from my from my deck to the grave, and that effect becomes her effect. So, banish your Radiant Seiyuru. Alright, with that, I'll end turn. Okay. I'll start with Harpy's Feather Duster. Okay. Staring at your field spell and Starry Night Ceremony. I will at Starry Night Ceremony. Fortunately, it's not a quick effect, so I use Staring Joy. Now I normal summon Traptrix Atrax and send it to the grave to Link summon out. Traptrix Sarah. And in turn. Ah, shoot. Oh well, too late now. Forgot that Astel's weak enough that Sarah can actually beat over him. Your angel can be kicked and have its butt kicked by a little flower girl. Yeah, only while he's in attack. True. Alright, now I will have him sacrifice himself special summon out Sayer. Okay. I will detach from Rafflesia. Use her effect again. Bottomless trap hole. Alright. I will banish Rail oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from my Sorry, I forgot to turn my microphone on. So I get to set a normal trap card for my deck because he used a trap tricks effect. Okay, that won't affect me doing this any. I figured it probably wouldn't, but I also gotta do stuff in the proper order. 
Yeah. yeah. And I'll set a card. And yeah. that's my turn. I figured it would be. Okay. I will set two cards. Uh, I'm thinking I'll just set one. And now I use Reflesia and Sarah to link summon out Chaptrix Kularia. You're back. During the end phase, I'll use her to revive Replesia. Okay, I'll set a card. Pass. Okay. Main phase one. Set a card. And I'll use Reflesia to link summon Sarah back out. Okay. I activate my angel statue as Uru. You do realize that all my trap tricks are that all my big trap tricks are unaffected by all trap cards, period, right? Gives me an 1800 defense. That's its know. effect. It comes to the field. Well, it's 1800 attack, too, so I activate Barnum's Trap Hole. I can live with that. Which will set off Sarah's effect and Kularia's effect. Kularia to let me reset it. And Sarah, let me special summon a trap tricks from my deck. I pick Trap Tricks Dianea. When she's special summoned, I get to set a trap card from my graveyard to the field, but it's still there at the end phase of the next turn. It gets banished. Oh, hold on. Let's get this one.
Now I'll use Sarah to build the overlay network with Diana. How are you overlaying these? Oh, because they just require trap tricks monsters. Mm hmm. Into trap tricks Alamiris. And I'll use her effect to detach two to bring back Trap Tricks Mantis. And I'll use her effect to target one set spell or trap I control to my hand. And then set one from a hand. Getting around Dianea's downside. No, you can't summon Alamiris. She specifically requires two plus level four monsters. Oh, okay. My mistake. I. It's fine. It's too late. It. This is already acceptable game state because we both we didn't catch it when it happened. All right. Just gotta remember that for the future. Yeah, it's one of those to where it may be an illegal move, but now we are at a legal game state because we have both accepted the play that already right. happened. Okay. Battle phase. Trap tricks will attack face down. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this because I have no way of uh, sticking anything to the board. Yeah. Calaria means any of my cards I, can u I use can effectively be reset. Thing is, they can't be activated in the same turn, so that's not the big issue. The issue is that you still have three perfectly good traps on the field as it sits that could pop this Sayoru. Mm -hmm. Which I'd get to the field through Flamel. Because you attacked, I could do this. By yep. the way, I'm Discord streaming a game I'm currently playing. Cool. Well, good game. Good games. Sorry. Fair point. Alright, talk to you next time, guys. I'm gonna go and watch the video of the princess. Oh, and as one last side side note, I'd have to say that my favorite deck is one of my most bullshit decks for reasons that shouldn't be a thing. My Aquarius. Oh yeah, I hate facing the Aquarius deck. For no. a little bit of context, What's up? Yeah. For a little bit of con context with my Aqua Actress deck. Which I just called Aquaria because they're they're a little group of aquarium fish. Their their main monsters are levels one, two, and five. There's only three different monsters to the deck. I can buff those monsters up to over five thousand power. Make them indestructible by anything that isn't another water monster. And have recursion for them. That's why he hates it. Yes, because because ev everything I have, none of it is prepared to deal with the Ankara actresses. They limbo. <laughs> they also start at like two hundred attack power for. The most part yeah so they start, start out with basically the weakest of the week and then i just found a way to buff these little fish to 
hell and back. The only way to fight against it, given that all his cards, given that all his spell cards that do the buffing have protection, is just keep any of them from actually hitting the damn field. I think he has. Yeah. I think he's only successfully beaten that deck out of all the times he's faced it twice. I think you're being generous. I don't think even Harpy's Feather Duster can get rid of those damn aquariums. Oh, the thing is, is that the spells aren't protected. Only the monsters. The spells allow me to bring the more monsters onto the field, which all have effects that allow me to grab new copies from the deck to just re-throw onto the field afterwards. Yep. And the spells protect protection for the monsters, I believe, so I can't just dark hole my way out of it. You literally have to destroy the back row, manage to destroy an entire set of five cards all in one turn in order to deal with it. Which, unless you manage to draw into Harpy's Feather Duster and Dark Hole, is a bit of a... Or Raigeki. I mean, there's, there's enough cards that allow you to field wipe your opponent's board from Lightning Vortex to Raigeki to Dark Hole... That technically you could have enough ways to do it, but by that point you're building a specialized deck just to deal with these damn yeah, fish. Exactly. The sad part is too, is that they're just not fast enough to be meta viable. Yeah, there's so many steps in what he has to do that any meta deck is just gonna is just gonna what's that little ghost girl? Anyway, they're just going to toss down an Omni Negate, and, well, chain's broken. You're basically fielding, at best, 1,400 tag monsters against Mega Leviathans. Yeah. Sad fact. They're powerful, but they just take too long. Yeah. Unfortunately, both he and I prefer slower gameplay, so that, that does not actually... Stop the Akraxuses from being a major pain in my backside. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna head to bed because I need to have some kind of functionality tomorrow. So, th yeah. because I might end up TPKing my party tomorrow. Oh god. Hooray! Well, you see, they're going up against a boss that I've already stated after they awoke it. Because, like, the boss was just a stoic guard who was just gonna stand there until they did something. And they have in they initiated combat with it last session. And yeah. this thing has almost 300 health remaining, has an AC of 20, and can perform three attacks per turn. I've already, I've already told them that they are able to run. Let's see if they agree. Well, the thing is, is that the door closed behind them, so they have to give up turns to destroy the door, which I've already stated is possible, in order to be able to flee for their lives. They didn't flee, but did they? But that doesn't mean that there's not a possibility that they end up TPK'd. Oh, I wish them luck. Give me a sec, and I will tell you the damage output of said monster. Because oh, it is not a small amount. Yeah, so while you're calculating this, essentially the game I'm playing has it to where you go through all the turrets, and the last cards you can choose are Angel, Devil, Hermit, or Joker. And since the beginning of the first gameplay, I want to click on the Joker, and I will load the save file again to click on each of the each of the rest of them. So Jerk, Joker, Hermit, Devil, and then Angel. Good night, guys. 
I'm looking for the eye. Uh, I'm almost there. Here he is. Uh, do, do, do. His damage for one attack is a plus 13 to hit, 10 foot reach, and 8d10 plus 7. They also have to manage a DC 18 strength saving throw that if they fail, they are knocked prone. I'm guessing you did everything short of physically shouting at them, don't do it, you dumbasses, to stop them from fighting this thing? No, I left it completely up to them. Uh, oh, that's not. Anyway. Oh, that, that's not considering its immunities to cold, poison, psychic, its resistances to fire, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Just in general, not even magical. Not just even in general. general. Yeah. I didn't even know you ran a D and D game. Yeah, this is the Zelda game that I've been running for a while. It's my Sunday it's afternoon my Sunday. game. Wait, hold right. up! I just realized that the title changed from train afterlight train something to failure something. Well, talk to you later, guys. Okay, see ya. Take care. Yeah, I'm choosing the ferment yeah. now. Okay. I wish you luck with your game. I am gonna go to bed, so that way I am fully awake and prepared for this game tomorrow where I may murder my entire body. Because I do not take pity upon their souls. Oh. They make their head. Yeah, so it turns out I have chosen the nightmare route, and I regret this decision. But now, I have to go back... How many decisions did I make? It was nature and nurture... Oh, I made Mary sad. Um... I want to see the last ones for the last two cards for the nightmare route. Uh, I wish you luck with your game. I am heading off to sleep. Alright, see ya. See ya later. Take care. Bye. Get all serious and stuff. How do I skip? And one fell off your timers. It's a nightmare end.
guys in the Nightmare End. Hope you guys enjoy the next one. We'll be trying out the other ends. After all, there's seven of them.